Hello everyone. Uh, in today's lesson, we are going to discuss about a formula, an important formula, which uh, shows the relationship between uh, the radius of a circle, the angle subtend, uh, the angle subtended by an arc, and the length of an arc of a circle. This formula is also very important actually in physics. So <clears throat> let us see what does the formula tells us. Okay, look at this figure first. So there is a circle. If you can see this, there is a circle. The radius of the circle is r centimeter if you can see and the length of this arc can you see this arc from a to p this arc is s and the angle subtended by this arc here is theta to the power c to the power c means radians okay so um angle is given in angle is in radians remember is in radians i'm writing here the angle has to be in radians for this formula to work okay s means the length of the arc what is s length of the arc so let's uh, read the statement here the statement says if an arc of length s as you all can see here this is the arc of length s shown in the diagram uh, subtends an angle theta radians at the center of the circle of radius r then the formula is s equals to r theta how are they connected check this out this is the um, you know this is the arc they are talking about s and it subtends an angle do you see it here it subtends an angle theta at the center of the circle and the radius of the circle is r if this happens then what is the formula connecting all these three s equals to r theta so where s is the length of the arc of a circle r equals to the radius of the circle and theta is the angle subtended by the arc at the center of the circle and remember theta has to be in radians okay and connected to that the area of the sector aop you know this is known as a sector and the shaded part uh, can you see this this shaded part if you see this area of the shaded part aop uh, is equals to half of rs so a very important formula that we have discussed here you must remember this formula this formula will be very very helpful in solving some of the sums involving wheels okay where uh, we rotate a wheel uh, rotate a wheel and the distance covered by the wheel those type of sums that comes under trigonometry uh, like pulling out water from the well etc type okay so this formula would be very very important because it will help me find the circumference of um, uh, a circle when the radius and the angle subtended by it is given okay so let me uh, uh, do a sum as an example to this particular formula okay so here we have the sum uh, based on this particular formula so according to the sum it says the driving wheel check this out the driving wheel of an engine is 80 centimeter in radius okay there is a wheel whose radius okay let me draw it so this sorry this is the circle that they are talking about and the radius of the circle is how much everyone the radius is uh, 80 centimeter 80 centimeter let me write here given radius equals to 80 centimeter correct okay let's say this is o and this is a correct okay and it makes and it makes 80 sorry not 80 this has to be 280 okay this is I have written it wrong here the question correct it and it makes 280 revolutions per minute so in one minute it makes 280 revolution it revolves 280 times find its speed in kilometer per hour and very interesting some pi you have to use 22 by 7 let's see so you know uh, suppose let me make a uh, figure here this let's say this is the surface and this is the wheel that we are talking about when this wheel let's say this is point a this is the radius when this wheel rotates so it will rotate like this and when it comes back to a one more time when it come back no come back to a one more time then this is actually the circumference of the wheel isn't it everyone yes so when this wheel rotates uh, let me show you like this it's very difficult to show you you know when the wheel rotates okay when it moves this a so we'll slowly move like this it will move up 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 and come back to its original position isn't it but when when the wheel mm, uh, rotates also it will cover a certain distance isn't it it will move here 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 and back again it come back comes back to a isn't it so when that happens it covers um 360 degree can we say the angle covered is 360 degree a is coming back to a 
okay so when it covers 360 degree then the distance covered by the wheel is exactly equals to the circumference because what is the distance covered check this out it moves from a back again it comes back to a so this is the distance covered by the wheel when it revolves once so rotate revolves doesn't matter okay but at that time it also covers a certain distance and now you know what is the distance covered everyone circumference it is exactly equals to the circumference correct okay so to solve this sum either you can use the circle formula and you can say um, um, distance covered by the wheel in one revolution equals to the circumference of the circle or what you can do is let me rub all this you can use the formula that we have just done okay that means in one revolution revolution uh, angle made by the circumference circumference is sorry angle made by the not the circumference arc you can write angle made by the arc is 360 degree can i say that everyone 360 degree. which arc am i talking about this is the arc i'm talking about because this is 360 degree a to a isn't it so 360 degree means how much everyone that will give me 360 into i have to convert it to radians so it will be uh, pi by 180 and cancel that's 2 pi radians isn't it everyone 2 pi radians you can write so the angle covered by the arc when revolving once is 2 pi radians correct so what will be the distance covered therefore we know we know s equals to r theta where s is the length of the arc length of the arc of the arc that means when the arc subtends 360 degree what is its distance what is the uh, length of the arc so r is how much everyone radius is 80 into arc is 2 pi isn't it now 80 into what's the value of pi we have to use everyone pi is uh, 22 by 7 i suppose the question says use pi 22 by 7 isn't it yes check it out here it says use pi 22 by 7 okay so now time to multiply this and we need to use the calculator and see what do we get when we multiply all this together so 80 so use your calculator everyone 80 into 2 into 22 that gives me 3520 divided by 7 and it will be centimeter remember because r was in centimeter correct so that gives me uh, divided everyone by 7 okay check it out 502 2.857 centimeter i am writing writing as many decimals as possible correct so here i have um, the length of the arc so let me write here in one revolution 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 can i write like this um the wheel covers wheel covers 502.857 centimeter can i say that let's convert it to meter because ultimately i have to convert to kilometer remember that so divided by 502.8757 uh, divided by to convert to meter 100 that will be meter that will give me 5.02857 meter correct everyone okay interesting so in one revolution check it out again in one revolution when it revolves once the wheel will cover 5.028.57 meter of distance okay now finally we need to find the speed in kilometer per hour we need to make it in kilometer per hour how much distance does it cover in um, you may say one hour okay okay so you know in one revolution this much so how much will it cover in 280 revolution because in one minute it makes 280 revolution so in 280 revolution revolution how much the wheel covers the wheel covers covers do the calculation everyone 280 into uh, 5.02857 isn't it so use your calculator again 5.02857 multiplied by 280 that gives me 1407.9996 and that would be meter so this much distance is covered by the wheel in 280 revolution but 280 revolution was made in one minute are you getting it everyone check this out see 280 why did i multiply by 280 because in one minute it covers 280 revolution so i'll write it down here 
in one minute that was in one minute distance covered is how much distance covered is covered will be uh, where is it 1407 1407.9996 um, meter that was the distance covered in one minute okay but I want it in one hour and one hour means 60 minutes so in 60 minutes minutes distance covered will be how much so 1407 uh, okay by the way before I do the 60 minute calculation let's convert this to kilometer how would I convert 1407.9996 divided by 1000 that'll be kilometer so that's 1.407.9996 kilometer okay now I, I suppose now 60 minutes so in 60 minutes 60 minutes distance covered will be one four uh, one point four zero seven nine 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 six into 60 so that's too long okay so you can just do it actually you can round it up to two three decimal places but it's okay since we have already done it so multiply it by 60 everyone and you are getting the accurate answer is four eighty four point four seven nine nine seven six kilometer that's the distance covered in one hour 60 minutes so uh, I can round it up and say 84.4 uh, let's say 8 kilometer so in one hour in one hour let me write in one hour it covers 84.48 kilometer that's the speed isn't it that is the distance covered because kilometer per hour means in one hour so therefore speed equals to how much speed will be 84.48 kilometer per hour because that's the distance covered by the uh, wheel in one hour have you understood everyone so please uh, revisit this sum re you can just uh, rewind it and uh, well, watch it over again to understand this so what did I do first I calculated the length of the arc then I calculate the distance covered by in one revolution because length of the arc is equal to the distance covered in one revolution because when it when the wheel makes one revolution it makes 360 degrees so that was the distance here if you can see okay so after that that was the distance covered in one revolution we wanted 280 revolutions we've done it that was in one minute uh, but in 60 minutes multiply it by 60 and that was the distance covered in 60 minutes but 60 minutes means one hour so that is the dis speed of the wheel uh, uh, in kilometer per hour okay here I have another sum on the same based on the same formula another interesting sum so it says the minute hand of a watch is 1.5 centimeter long how far does its tip move in 40 minutes Okay, let me make the figure first so this is the minute uh, sorry this is the watch I'm talking about and then let's say this is the minute hand okay can I say that okay let me not make it like this sorry um, let me write here 12 oh sorry that should be like this 12 and that's the minute hand okay it's almost full correct everyone so this will be one and this will be 2 and right here 3 and then 4 5 you know 6 7 8 here 9 here 10 and here 11 and 12 isn't it so uh, if you see um, let me make this with a red color so in a watch okay when the minute hand moves from 12 to back again 12 when it moves 12 to back again 12 then how much angle does it cover everyone 360 degree isn't it so one revolution revolution uh, of minute hand I can write like this minute hand means 360 degree can I say that everyone yes that is in 60 minutes so in 60 minutes in 60 minutes it covers how much 360 degree correct in one minute how much does it cover in one minute 360 divided by 60 that will be six degrees isn't it so in 40 minutes how much does it cover 40 sorry minutes it will cover 6 into 40 that would be 240 degrees so how much does it cover everyone 240 degree are you satisfied with this uh, explanation everyone if not I can show you what happens is I have to divide 360 degree like this how many parts so 12 parts because I can see like this isn't it everyone yes so check this out like this sorry my mistake here okay it will be 
something like this isn't it everyone i'll have to divide um, 360 into 12 parts because this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 isn't it everyone because whole 360 has to be divided into 12 parts so how much does that give you 30 degree each and then you'll just have to multiply by how much 8 and that will be 240 why because uh, let me show you 40 minutes means from here from here everything this is uh, 30 minutes and till here that's 40 minutes isn't it everyone 40 minutes means eight divisions it covers eight divisions that's why i have multiplied by eight that would be another explanation okay this is by unitary method this i have done by unitary method i hope you've understood some of you okay this uh, you can also divide and do like this so 240 degree how to convert this into radians so that'll be 240 into uh, pi by 180 so six three and six four that will be four pi by three to the power c radians got it everyone now time to do our calculation which formula should i use we know we know uh, s equals to r theta radius you know what is the radius by the way radius is the length of the minute hand because the minute hand if this is the watch then minute hand is almost yeah touching the circumference so that will be the radius it's 1.5 centimeter isn't it everyone check this out 1.5 centimeter long that means the radius is 1.5 centimeter for this so 1.5 uh, multiplied by 4 pi by 3 isn't it now use 22 by 7 i suppose pi yeah it's not mentioned so 22 by 7 so that'll be 15 uh, by 10 into 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 so you can use your um, calculator let me cancel this 5 5 2 2 11 that would be great so that's 44 divided by 7 and centimeter. So do your calculation, everyone. How much would you get? So that will be 6.28 centimeter. So that's the answer. That's the distance covered by the minute hand when it moves uh, 40 minutes from here, right here. So that's from 12 to 8, isn't it? That's 40 minutes like this. So that is the length of the arc. This is the distance we are talking about. Check this out, this one this is the distance that we are talking about i hope you have understood this sum so please see this formula and a very important formula okay i have done two sums based on this formula today okay so <clears throat> if you uh, are confused you may watch this video again and then try to clear your concept if you have any problem you can always um, ask me